Wow, life is so easy. I just sit outside the forts, taking no attrition, while my vassals take all the attrition, sieging the forts. Ah, this is the life. Hey, I'm Feedback Gaming, and this is Europa Universalis 4. Now, it has become the Emperor Edition. Is that the final edition of EU4? Is this the final expansion pack? I don't know, but it's definitely got a lot of features. And today, we're going to play as France. And we're going to do an opposite France. An ahistorical, the vice versa what France did. Yeah. So surrendering, we're not going to be surrendering. Baguettes, baguettes are banned. Bicycles, bicycles have not been invented. But we will uninvent the bicycle, which is not possible in this game. I just made that up. Single player and... We're going to play as France. So France at the moment is broken, okay? You probably think I use that word all the time, okay? No, I don't use that word all the time, okay? I use that word when it means something, okay? And France at the moment has got a vassal swarm. See this chicken pox? All these different colors? That's right. All of these are nations within France. Vassal states. These little countries, they have their own armies. They have their own economies. They have their own rulers. And they will act autonomously from us which means two beautiful things. One, free armies, and two, sieging down stuff we don't want to siege for free. So, France, the lazy edition. In EU3, France used to be referred to as the big blue blob. They would consume practically all of mainland Europe. They were very, very strong. Uh, to the stage where OP wasn't just a term you'd use when you're getting beaten. They literally were OP. France, let's play. Who am I? I'm Feedback Gaming. I play strategy games on YouTube. Do you want more strategy games? Do you want more broken strategies? Then I am the kind of YouTuber you are going to like. Subscribe for more of that kind of content. If you don't want to subscribe, I'm totally okay with that too. Let's show off some of these broken new features and let's show you how you make France incredibly girthy and fat. First of all, we have estates. Estates now are no longer slot machines. You don't press buttons and get free points and stuff. Now you can activate these policies in the background that actively provide bonuses to your entire nation. So for instance, right now, nobility are providing us with manpower recovery speed. Yay! And clergy are giving us extra tax. Yay! And the bourgeoisie are giving us extra 5% trade efficiency. Oh, bourgeoisie? Where have I heard that term before? Where have I heard that term before? <laughs> Nah, it's just a coincidence. Anywho, here's the policies. And these are the policies you can select. They have detriments and positives. And there are ways you can divvy up the land between you, the crown, as well as the these estates. Start of the game. France has this incredibly OP. French strong duchies. I thought this would be kind of like a, a law name or something in French, but they literally just say it as it is. It's French, and they're strong, and they're duchies. Yes. So this allows us to have three extra diplomatic relations. That is in so good. That is incredibly powerful. That means we have more control of more vassals. And trust me, we will be making a lot of vassals. Trust me. And this is the penalty we get because we don't control much crown land. Crown land is here. It's 29%. 29.998%. And the effect of this is we get less tax, uh, less absolutism, which is something we don't have to worry about until very late game anyway, and more liberties desired by subject developments. That's bad. So what we need to do is get back some of that crown land. This will upset all of our estates, and it will give us back 5% of our crown land. Let's do this. Yes. And there we go. Now we've lost that nasty effect. I believe you've got to have over 33%, I think. So you've got to keep it lovely and balanced, like all things should be. And also you have this magical button that summits a deit. This will improve relations with all your estates by five. So it's your magical button that gives you free stuff. And they give you a mission each, like a mini mission. In this case, we can either improve relations with the papal states to 100. We are going to be doing that. Uh, we either gain a claim on Western Burgundy. Uh, we will be doing that. And also the final option is to have lots of money in the bank account. 585 gold. You know what? All three of those are actually viable. The hardest being the nobility one. We're going to go with the clergy because we are going to boost relations with the Pope anyway. Because the Pope has new powers. And uh, we're going to be taking advantage of the, those awesome Pope powers. Improve relations with the Pope. Also, we are going to get a royal marriage with Castile because they're our long-term buddy. We're going to stop guaranteeing Scottish independence. Scotland? What's that? I've never heard of that country before. Scottish independence. <laughs> independence and we also have a navy here which we're not really paying much attention to we're just going to mothball them for the time being we're going to be involved in a war versus england in which they have a mighty fat navy where's the navy 33 ships ouch very big very powerful don't mess with them we're going to set our rivals which gives us power projection to aragon because they'll make castile happy uh we'll also burgundy and england because we're going to be fighting them anyway yay 
Another thing with the estates is this really awesome ability where you can make your advisors cheaper and your clerical advisory council. Wow, councils, politics, lovely. Uh, it reduces the cost of advisors by 25%. It makes stability cost more and it makes them happier. So we're gonna do that with each of the estates. Here we go, aristocratic councillors, yay. And the bourgeoisie. There you go, commercial advisory board. There's not really any downside to this in the short term, so why not get advisors cheaper and get some harmonic points, right? Yay! Uh, morale, good idea. Spy network construction, yeah, can take advantage of that, and extra production. Castile would like an alliance, I would love an alliance with you, Castile. Provence would like a royal marriage, I would love an alliance with you, Provence. Armanac would like a royal marriage, I'll take that too. So if you go on to your diplomatic map mode, you can see who are your vassal states. So they're the ones that are a little bit of a aqua blue, would you say? Greeny blue? So you can see all these ones are integrated into our states. Uh, the downside to this is that they could rebel if you really annoy all of them. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to make lots of lovely friends with them and make them all super happy. The surrender of Maine. They have given up Maine. If they refuse, we've got a war with them. Just like a rumba. I don't like horses. Horses cost way too much. So we're gonna have one horse on one army. There we go, boom and boom. We've got our two leaders and we'll drill them as well. We got enough money to do this? Yes, we do, we have loads of money. So let's take advantage of that. And as we're not gonna go to war with the UK, we might as well just send out our trade fleet, protect trade in our lovely base of Bordeaux. By the virtue of the powers granted by God, the Pope has decided to bless us by enacting the following golden bowl. Christina Pietas. Sounds like a dish. Golden bowl has the following effects. Less development costs and tolerance of heathens. Okay. We are very good Christians. Bigger army, you say? Bigger, the better. I've heard. Okay, we've got 96 relations with the Pope. We need to get four more to pass our mini mission. Can we send them a gift? Yes, we can. 25 ducats. And our mission has been complete with our estate, and we've been given more loyalty. And we can't summon another one until 1449. Cool. Comet sighted. Boo. That's boost to at least plus one. Make a few claims of Burgundy. I don't mind if I do. Just a few. Support the House of York. I don't care. I don't care. English Civil War? We're not getting involved in English politics. Let them settle their own little problems. Our ambitions will be on the continent. Forget the UK. <sighs> Hey, Brittany, you'd like an opportunity for some free real estate. I think I'll take that. Conquer, go. And the vassal swarm has been unleashed. My king, the Pope in the Empire has happened to us. Pope in the Empire? The Pope's membership in the Holy Roman Empire has dire ramifications for Catholics outside the Empire. No expiration date. The Papal States has joined the Holy Roman Empire. Wow, okay. Well, that's different. Fight them in Venice and boot them out. All right, let's peace everyone out. Get them out of this war. Suggest, get a bit of money. And we could probably do the same for Venice. What will the Venice give us? And a ton of money. Let's push them a little bit hard and see how far we can push them. Reform the government to get more manpower. Strengthen the noble privileges. All right, we've taken all their mainland territories. Let's just see how much money we can fleece out of them. Their suggestions is to give us lots of money and war preparations. Yeah, do that. Makes that war very, very profitable. 100% war score on Brittany. Ideally, we want to vassalize them, and we are actually going to vassalize them. Done. Cardinals across the border. Yes, we'll accept the cardinal. Mission has been fulfilled. Subjugate Brittany. Gain 100 diplomatic power. Don't mind if I do. I read that as best dockyards. It's actually breast dockyards. Seize more power from the estates. And it's caused them to have a minor rebellion. Only 2,000. We're going to kill this with low morale. Yes, we can. There we go. Taxes? Yes, taxes. As you can see now, the clergy are upset, so therefore paying less tax, they're having more unrest, less powerful influence, the bourgeoisie are annoyed, so getting less trade efficiency, development costs up, and more unrest. So, yeah, unrest seems to be a thing. But when we get more crown land and get a majority of crown land, we'll get a bonus for that. That's the reason why we keep CNZ land from the estates. A natural scientist, 50% cheaper, level 2. Yeah, sure, just replace the one that I've got. And it's a woman! All right, we can summon another Diet. So with our means now, we can either get stability to level three. Uh, that's possible, tricky, but possible. Uh, get manpower level to 50%. That doesn't require much of our activity, does it? Build a market, a trade depot, or a stock exchange. That one is really easy. And this will make the bourgeoisie like us and they really hate us. So we'll do that one. Build a market right here. There we go. Easy. A little bit of taxation. Just a few temples. Just a few. And there we go, again, one extra development, and we make the bourgeoisie slightly more loyal. A tiny bit more loyal, and there we go. All the estates are happy. The Armanacs have sent us an insult. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smells of elderberries. Poetic. We now have three cardinals that are loyal to France. 
which means we gain more papal influence, which will invest to get more and more and more cardinals. Now we have a 14% control of the Cura. First ideas we're going to go for is influence ideas. We're going to stack the power of our vassal swarm armies. And one thing I forgot to do too is to go into subjects and assign what I like them to do. And what I need them to do is do all the sieging work. All the sieging work costs a lot of manpower. And I don't want to have to spend that manpower on the attrition of seizing down forts. So I'll let my vassal armies do that. All right, it is time now to take on the British. We have one army to the south, one army to the north, right about here. Give have about two months for morale to recover. Off we go. Reconquest of, to be honest with you, any of these pieces of land. We'll go for this one. Uh, Provence and Castile would like to join this war. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Oh my goodness, look at all those vassal armies. 13, almost 14,000 troops that are just not mine. Simply vassal armies. Victory. Now, I want to peace out right now. I need to as quick as I can. I could wait for ticking war score, but ideally, I just want to grab all the forts and then just jump out. And he says no, so we're going to have to wait for the ticking war score. We could potentially wait for another 19 points. Oh no, Portugal. What has happened? I just spotted all of those are my vassals. Their armies in total are larger than my entire army at home. That is just nuts. Portugal, war reparations, lots of money from you. Transfer trade power? Yeah, sure. Punished for joining the war. Punished! England, your turn. What can we take from you? Practically all of that. And that'll do. Just explain what I was thinking there. So, take all the best land. The forts, forts, forts. And this, and this are just bits of land that I can gobble up in another war pretty quickly. Dates! Good to go. An offer of knowledge from Provence. Provence are giving us a chance to catch up on technological process by the means of knowledge sharing. Give us 1% growth for Renaissance at a cost of 10% of our income. Yeah, why not? During the course of the Hundred Years' War, the Dukes of Alençon was expelled from their land by English invasion. Now, the traditional territories of the Duchy have been restored to the French lands. The surviving aristocrats of the House of Alençon implore the king to restore the lost lands and titles. Restore the Duke? Yes, sure, why not? There we go. A new dukedom. Milan has fallen into political chaos. The throne is vacant and the upstart republic strives in vain to establish order. This could be an excellent time to restore our claim to the Duchy of Milan. The throne belongs to us. Gains Cassis belly, restore the union against Milan. Which feels really weird because they're a republic right now. Who are they allied with? Oh, practically no one. Oh, this is just free pickings. Okay, in that case, let's uh, let's march down there then. Let's go. Vassal Swarm and Provence enable. We need access through Savoy and here we go. And once again, we're just going to let our vassals do all the sieging because that's all the hard work. We don't want to be doing hard work. And now we've got the Italian Wars. Mercenary costs reduced and multi-sibling for mercenaries. Embrace the Renaissance. And now we can union with Milan, which is incredibly strong. And take all your money. Well, not all your money. Most of your money. There we go. Victory. Personal union with France. Good. Improve relations. Oh, and this has sucked us into a new war. So maybe another opportunity to take some more land and make Milan a little bit bigger. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. What is this? Enact the Golden Bull. As the Cura control, you have to enact the Golden Bull to benefit all Christendom. All right. Whatever I invest in, I have to spend 200 gold, and that's incredibly expensive. So, as much as some of these might be kind of cool, uh, I think I'm going to take a pass on that one. All right, we've occupied those boyos. Can we take their land? That's the question, though. Are we to occupy practically any of this? going to annoy a lot of people. Um, we'll take money from the Merchant Republic. Yeah, money as well as war reparations. And then we'll completely annex you. It doesn't cause a coalition. Nah, it won't. That's good. And to not have to deal with unrest, we're just going to give you guys autonomy. To make sure we don't have manpower problems in the future, let's just build a few barracks. All right, raw marriage time. We need a new heir. We're having a really hard time. We have no queen and we have no heir. Oof, that might cause some problems. So, diplomacy, raw marriage. We'll go here. Literally raw marriage in with all my vassal states. And we have a queen now, 143. She's okay. Okay, we now want to seize more land from the estates once again. And that's how let's cause two rebellions. Oof. Might have to wipe these out without gaining morale. Yeah, we can. Easy. Now we control 44% of the land in our nation. So we've got a rebellion that's about to happen in Calais. Right here. 80%. But now we have the ability to provoke the rebellion. This will force them to rebel at the exact moment we want to. But it will make them 50% stronger. Which I don't care. So we'll just force it and just see what happens. Let's try out the new features, you know. Over to Calais. 
move them all over beautiful and provoke easy and as punishment we're also going to reduce autonomy there we go <laughs> a four two three air mm, not the best but i'll accept because it is better than nothing at the moment i'm desperate for air so this will have to do the king is dead and now we have a queen regent it's about time we've got britain off this continent get back onto your island get out of here Claire War, Provence, Castile, join in. Royal Rumble it is. All right, these guys are occupied, so we've secured our objectives. We are having a problem with Calais rebels again. Hmm. I think Burgundy, in this case, would be a really good opportunity to take out. 31,000 infantry, 10k cavalry. Yeah, we should take them out. Can I make any more claims before we go to war? Yes, we can. There we go. All right, Claire, Burgundy, and... We're going to claim on you. Something close by so I can just grab really quickly and start building war score. Oh, they actually have a fort here too. I didn't realize that. Deploy the vassal swarm. Max war score for England. Get out of the continent. Get out of here. Done. Mission fulfilled. Recover Normandy. The Ducal Ring of Normandy. Recover Gascony. We can also do the Hundred Years War as well. He has permanent claims across more of France. The end of the Hundred Years War. I think this war practically is over now. I'd like to make a connection to Italy. Can do that. Now it's all connected up to Milan. And then take our primary war goals. How upset will everyone be? Pretty damn mad. Okay, we're going to have to get away with just this. Done. Burgundy is no longer a valid rival of France, and so isn't the UK. We have become very fat. All right, we need new rivals. Austria, Ottomans, Mamluks. Provence is going to go to war with Savoy. Yeah, sure, why not? More Italian wars. Wow, life is so easy. I just sit outside the forts taking no attrition while my vassals take all the attrition, sieging the forts. Ah, this is the life. The Emperor of Austria demands that you return the province of Wallace to the Holy Roman Empire. Denying this request will seriously impact our relations with the HRE. No. We can go for improved war taxes. Now, this is very special at the moment because war taxes can be done whilst at peace. And it also permanently turns on, never turns off. So, free war taxes practically forever. Until the end of the Age of Discovery. Seize more land for the crown. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I do that? I just upset all my estates. And I'm also causing rebellions to randomly appear within our nation. But look at this. Now we're starting to get bonuses with the amount of crown land that we get. And that is not the biggest bonus we get. That can go higher. So we're just going to keep stacking it by seizing more and more land from the estates. A new queen and a not so good heir. Maybe we'll work on that. I want to go to war with Burgundy right now. But I'm having this issue with uh, rebels, as you do. So I'm going to provoke them again. Get the rebels to appear, squish them, and now I don't have to worry about rebels stabbing me in the back whilst at war. Convenient. Castile having a bit of a crusade and some bizarre twists and turns that Portugal seems to have joined the crusade with the Muslims. Okay. And uh, I've decided to join the war. Oh, look at the vassal swarms arriving. So I'm actually going to bother sending any of my troops because I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. So I'm just going to stay back at home and continue to drill. Next government reform, I'm going to go for the cheaper advisors because I just love that one. Cheaper advisors is always good. Cheaper the better. I've just spotted this. Granada has just pushed into mainland Spain. The Unconquista? While all that rubbish is happening to the west, we're going to take care of things closer to home. Let's get rid of Burgundy. Provence, join the war. Yeah, let's go. I think that's probably the maximum we'll be able to take. Uh, if we do start to really annoy everyone. Oof, that's a big oof. That's a big oof too. Yeah, we can only take three. And the rest will just be in uh, money. We've conquered Picardy, that gives uh, sadly no reward. That's upsetting. And recover Calais, which gives permanent claims to Wallonia. Cool. And uh, conquer Flanders. It wants to conquer all of that. So this is where things change a little bit. Now we're not centralizing the France area of the world. Uh, we push a little bit into Italy, but now we're pushing into the Holy Roman Empire, which has gone through a few little changes since this patch. Oh, no, 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 no. 202, he's too bad. Goodbye, prestige. Victory! The Italian reconquest of that place. What have we got? 11 favors from Castile. And do we get anything from this? We get a tiny bit of prestige. Well, we technically, technically didn't fight that war. It was technically our vassal swarm that fought it because I didn't send a single troop over there. So I guess that we can call that a win. Can we? Can we? Is that a win? The Emperor Austria demands that we return the province of that one to the Holy Roman Empire, denying that the conquest will seriously impact our relations with HRE. 
No. It is time to upset the big boy and let us push into Flanders. Austria will be on our ass, and to make it even worse, England will too. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. Let's do this. Provence, Castile won't join because of debt. Can we just pay their debt? Can I just give them... How much debt are they in by? They're in debt by 154. Send you a gift of 150. 200. There we go. There you go. Your debt's been paid. Join our war. No! War exhaustion. All right, never mind. You can have my gift, though. You can keep the gift. You can keep it. Sure. Deploy the swarm. The Austrian army. Can my 60,000 defeat their 36, 34 army? That looks to things, yes. Oh, cavalry. No. <laughs> okay. Fighting in mountains. Not a good idea. The lowlands have been conquered. Unfortunately, Milan has been conquered. Hmm. Let's see what we can get from this. Flanders will give us... Give us some of the coastline, but that's going to really upset a lot of people. Ah, balls to it. Let's do it. If you want to make an omelette, you got to break a few eggs, right? Not a one, one with battles, just one with occupation and attrition. Austria only has 10k manpower left banked. We have 30k. We've both taken a beating from that war. Uh, zero, two, three. Oh, oh, man, you're rubbish. The age of reformation. Oh, new mercenary companies. Cool. Castillo's about to go to war with, oh god, the powerful states. Okay. Damn. Castile isn't messing around. Castile taking a chunk out of Portugal. Time to uh, tear up the rest of Burgundy. Will anyone defend them? Ooh, quite a few members actually. It's because there's a coalition behind my back. But most of these guys are pretty weak. So I don't care. Oh, and Austria's hopped in. Okay, good old Austria. Always up for a fight. Pretty big battles. We've got the numbers advantage. And I think we have the slight tech advantage too. So get out of here, Austria. Come on, just get out. Push out the Netherlandians. Netherlandians? Nether Lowlandians. Sure. This is a big battle. They look like they've got a slight edge on numbers. I think what I'm probably going to have to do now is tell all my vassal swarm to attach onto me and mark this as attachable by friendly troops. And here we go. Lots of troops. And if I puncture into here, they'll probably just run away. Yeah, they will. Get them on the retreat. There's a big Austrian army here. Can we intercept? Yes, we can. Definitely have a lot more troops and they just don't even choose to fight that. They just run away. Oh my goodness. This is the real way you use the Vassal Swarm. You just attach them onto your armies. This makes the army just freaking massive. Just slicing through those armies. Is this going to be the final battle versus the Austrians? Looks like it is. And that was a straight win. There we go. Done. I hate fighting those wards around the Alps area because the AI is really good at digging into mountains area and just burning you out with attrition. And uh, they definitely did that. They have 3k manpower, so they pretty much lost all the manpower too. And now they're at war with the Ottomans. Ha! Good. Anyway, as you can see, if I go into a diplomatic view, you can see all the areas I control. So now I can start to integrate Milan and it'll be fully integrated in 10 years, which is pretty damn good. And that's a lot of cores on the center of Italy. So now you're banging on the back door of Austria. What you can do is build a few forts in these marshes, mountain areas, and then they have to siege these down and you can fight them in the area. And that's usually when you have the advantage against the AI, when you can force them to siege down areas, which they'll take a big dice roll. But here we go. This is what I control mostly. So all I'd have to do is when I've annexed Milan is punch into Switzerland and take Savoy and then put potentially turn on Provence too. But as you can probably see, this has gone pretty well so far. The Vassal Swarm definitely makes your life really easy. It doesn't fight battles for you, but it definitely makes your life a lot, lot easier. If you want to see more EU4 footage, uh, feel free to subscribe. I hope you have an absolutely awesome day and... Uh, Look how awesome that font for France is. F-R-A-N-C-E. What the? What the hell? What is that? Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Currently, guys, ad revenue has tanked. The lockdown has totally frozen the YouTube economy. If you want to help me out, the best thing you can do in these dire times is become a Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye-bye.